I'm Logan. We will be talking about direct inject winterization and rinse out. To start our process of rinsing out our system, we want to make sure, first of all, that it is drained completely. If you have an extra dry lock coupler with no hose attached, you can connect it here. Open up your valve from the bottom of your tank and drain them out. With this 4 Series sprayer, you can do a rinse from the rinse tank itself through the Gen 4 monitor. Choose your rinse cycle, your level of rinse, and it will go through your pump as long as you have your valve set in the proper order. With the newer direct inject systems, there is a place where you can go in here and actually do an automated rinse where it will pull water out of the rinse water tank and rinse your direct inject pump. It is done through the wrench and screwdriver. It will ask you your level of rinse. And to do that, you turn your master spray switch on from the armrest. To make sure you have all your chemical flushed out, it would be a good idea to put a neutralizer cleaner in the tanks themselves. The best way to do that would be take the caps off of the tank and dump it in directly. Once you have your cleaner in the tanks, hook your dry lock up to a garden hose and turn your valve so that you are pushing product up into the bottoms of the tanks and then switch your valve and it will actually go to the rinse side of the tank through the top. Once you have your cleaner in the tanks and you have put in fresh water, you can go through your Cal Prime cycle to make sure that you are circulating all the cleaner through the pump and through the whole system. Once you have gone through and cleaned the pump and the entire system, you can then drain it back out through your dry lock coupler here. To winterize the system, hook up your dry lock, same way we did when we rinsed. We wanna put winterizer through both sides of the valve, through the bottom and through the tops of both sets of tanks. We also wanna make sure that we are moving every valve as we are winterizing to make sure we get both sides of that valve coated with winterizer. It's also a good idea to cycle the strainer valve as well as removing the strainer and making sure that it's clean. To winterize the system, you can use your Cal Prime setup and you wanna make sure that you're pushing your plunger up and down so that you are circulating that winterizer throughout the system. To make sure that you have your recirculation valve set so that it returns to the tanks so you're getting your recirculation side winterize, as well as changing this valve from your A tanks to your B tanks. Once you have the pump and everything back here winterized, you want to switch this valve so that it is on the inject side. Once you do that, you can run that Cal Prime cycle again, and it will go to your injection line up to the mixing chamber on the top of the boom. If you have any other questions on rinse out and winterization of your direct inject system on your four series sprayer, please contact your local Landmark dealer.